Hi there, I'm Alex Dixon. This is a Bravia NX713, a 3D TV from Sony. But what is 3D? In order to understand 3D on televisions, we should probably understand how we perceive 3D in reality. You've got two eyes. There's a gap between them. This is how we view 3D images. Put your finger in front of your face. A bit further back than that. Okay, now close your left eye. Close your right eye. See there's a difference in the images you see? When you've got both eyes open though, your brain does something blooming incredible by combining the two pictures and giving us a third dimension. If you do the finger trick a bit further away, not the camera, if you do the finger trick a bit further away, you'll find there's a difference, but it's not as significant. And if you were to look at something far away and do the same, there'd be almost no change at all. This is 3D, a combination of multiple images and depth perception. Back in the time before I was born, people used these hideous things to get a 3D effect from movies and videos. They're not even that good. Everything just seems purple. Current 3D TVs do something similar to the finger trick. A 3D movie has two separate tracks, one for our left eye and one for your right. These flash in turn on the screen, so fast that they appear a blur. The two eye tracks are slightly different, but with the help of our special glasses, your brain can see both images as one. The glasses do most of the work on 3D TVs. They're battery powered and controlled by an infrared transmitter in the TV, which tells each of the lenses on the glasses to either open or close. This happens in sync with the flashing left and right images on the TV, causing the stereoscopic effect we know and love as 3D. You don't see the flickering in the glasses or on the image on the screen because they flash left and right at about 120 times per second. I can't do anything 120 times a second. I can't even say 120 times a second in a second. A lot of 3D content even manages to do this in glorious 1080p high definition. But it's not just movies you can enjoy in three dimensions. There are console games, Blu-rays, and even Sky's dedicated 3D channel for you to enjoy. Also, there are mobile phones with 3D cameras built on, so you can enjoy your own home movies and photos in 3D on a Sony Bravia television. So what are you waiting for? This is the future. I'm in the future. I've got Netflix lottery results and can have Optimus Prime standing in my living room.